Hi Scorpio and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for all your support, for your likes, comments and subscribes. I really appreciate it. And if you're new here, welcome. So your readings have really been the most popular recently, so I'm glad they've resonated. Um, I hope you're doing well on your journeys. So that's why your July video here is the first. So this is for Scorpio, something rising in Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. So what's coming for Scorpio in July? Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we've got the balance card. So divine timing, needing to balance, um, find balance and moderation. Uh, it could be a Sagittarius. I'm getting a waiting energy. Some of you are waiting for someone to come in towards you. The first card as well, when you're... So I'm seeing moving on here, moving in a new direction is what a lot of you want to do. But I'm also getting reconciliation. Yeah, the couple here being guided by Archangel Jeremiel. So for that to be the first card means this is pretty, it's getting closer, I would say, if it hasn't come, come in for some of you. Um, you've been through quite a, 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 a rough time in the past maybe with this person as well quite interesting we've got the queen and knight of air so a good pretty good couple um aquarius libra gemini needing to make a decision so what i'm seeing here is this horse is here in her crystal ball so when this person comes in you're really going to be weighing them up looking at them from all angles listening carefully to what they say what they do um, clearing away things that don't serve you and making a decision okay because the knight is um, it's better than the page but it's still not the king it's still a bit unstable uh, and this might come in very quickly, I'm getting. Yeah, also with the ego. So notice he's wearing a mask here. So this person might um, be wearing a false mask. You're hiding things. And that's why you're going to be in this Queen of Air energy. Um, definitely like asking them questions. Um, about their motives, why they've come back, and I would I would say that's a good thing to do, um, definitely. Uh, you might also feel a bit negative about this person if they come back in. We've got Capricorn energy, but you're being guided not to give up. Okay, persevere with this. It might start off a bit rocky. Um, is what I'm hearing but you know it could be a twin flame we've got the two flames here some of you might choose to move on though and let go because we've got the eight of water so for the last card some of you um, I'm definitely getting with these two you want to move in a new direction in some way and um, this can also be spiritual growth so moving away from these energies you know, and in the 3D that don't serve you, up to the 5D energy. 
Yes, wanting something more meaningful in your life. So what's coming through here? Okay, let's get a card for renewal. Yeah, so definitely that energy of moving forward. There might have been some deception in the past with this person or with someone. And you're going to choose to move, might be moving on in work to a new job. But yeah, I'm getting an element of not trusting this energy. Let's see about this night of air. Well, this Knight of Air um, wants to work things out with you, wants to offer commitment and stability. So I'm feeling a good energy here. Something around work. You might have met them at work. Okay, how about this ego? So that's interesting. We got a repeat card there, Knight of Swords. So they're going to come rushing in, quite um, tireless sort of person, um, wanting to speak, wanting to really communicate quickly with you. And the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. They're going to be more stable emotionally. And I feel the mask might be also hiding their emotions initially. Yeah, it's going to be a bit difficult for them to come forward. And that's why. So when you ask these questions, go easy on them. Yeah, because um, I think it's not going to be too easy on them. But um, OK, what about the Queen of Air? Wow, that's amazing. So there's your soulmate card. And we've got that second chance. So they want a second chance with you. Definitely, the wheel is turning. We've got Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus energy. Yeah, there you go. Someone coming in to apologize to you from the past. How about the Nine of Fire? Wow, there you go, same card. So, um, you know, there's spirits clarification. Um, someone coming in, if it's not from the past, then it's a, a new person with a loving offer. Anything else on this page of cups? And it's going to be more balanced, I'm getting. Um, they, they need to balance their emotions and show their emotions. Okay, that's what I'm getting there. It could be Sagittarius. Yeah, okay, so there might be com you might be conflicted though, so that's why you've got that nine of wands. Don't give up. You're gonna be unsure. And they're really gonna to need to express themselves if they want to come in. What about this eight of water? Okay, so, yeah, you, you, this, the offer is going to be stable, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, we've got two pages, so communication, they want a new beginning, and also to have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups indicates a very strong connection, good counterpart for you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again. Could be an age gap. Yeah, 
Yeah, so you, you are going to feel anxious initially and want to move forward alone or with this person. I feel you've got two choices. Um, but you're going to think it through. And I am, I'm seeing victory, you know, commitment, marriage, potentially. It seems it's going to be up to you in terms of how you feel. Yeah. A bit back and forth with your emotions about this, unsure. Anything else for that, for, for Scorpio? Yeah, so another six, two sixes, so balance. It's going to be more balanced this time. I'm really seeing that. This could be a really positive um, outcome. If you both communicate, that's what I'm hearing, and you don't stay stuck in your head. And if you are, you need to communicate as well. Okay. And interesting that that was our card at the bottom of the deck, balance. So that's coming, that, that balance in your life and, and in this connection. Okay, Scorpio, let's take um, an oracle card to finish. Any other messages? So we got maintain your childlike spirit. Yeah, so this kind of links with the seven and the two equaling a nine. And I was I was just thinking about the nine of swords. So coming out of that sleepless night and anxious energy and trying to let go of it and have fun is important, yeah. Even with this person, try and try and have fun if you can. And also make a wish, number one. So that new beginning. Um, Visualising what you want and then putting it out there. Okay, it's really important. Um, and, that, and that will come to you, whatever you put out there. So stay positive, I'm getting from these cards. Yeah, stay in a good energy. Okay, Scorpio, so I hope you enjoyed this July reading. Um, please do like, comment, share and subscribe if it resonated at all and I'll see you again soon.